Good boy, Peanut. Peanut's carrying two uh, seven and a half power batteries, sealed lead acids that are about five pounds a piece. And so he's he's got uh, 10 pounds plus some water, so he's got about 20 pounds on him. And then Rooster, he's got about 30 pounds on him. He's He's got a tent and some other gear and some more water. They're working for their dinner this time. We're over on the east face of the mountain right now. And tonight is supposed to get pretty cool over here. Um, but I love this side of the mountain, especially that one cliff that drops off. Here come the guys. This is the part that's always kind of a scramble. It's a big boulder field. A lot of deadfall that you have to kind of get through. Rooster just kind of bulldozes his way through stuff. We made it. The ghosts did fine. Now we probably have maybe two and a half hours of daylight, so that's plenty enough time to get the tent up and antenna up and all that stuff. And here's the tent. We've got a tarp over the top of it, so the goats the goats sleep outside um, underneath the tarp up against the tent. So it's chow time for the goats. Got the rig going out here. about 8 30 and um, just switched the uh, radio over to 40 meters I was on 20 for a while and uh, worked a guy on the East Coast um, November zero tango uniform this is whiskey two Oscar Zulu Oscar in uh, QRZ uh, the name is uh, Steven Steven are you using a buddy pole by any chance back to you Roger Roger Oh, okay, now I know I know where you are. You're the goat man. You say you're using two watts, one, two watts. Is that correct? But it was a uh, thrill for me to work you, and 7-3 uh, to you, yours, and I guess and to the goats, too. After I switched to 40, I worked John in zero GBR, and unfortunately I didn't have my recorder going, so I don't have his audio. But thanks for the great QSO, John. It's about 2 a.m. And Mr. Hoot Owl is right above my tent. Actually, it's kind of neat. Sounds like the letter P or at J with a short dash on the end. <sighs> Just sitting here waiting for the sun to come up. And there ain't nothing better to warm you up in the morning than a, uh, a good hot cup of java. Here's a long way for sunrise. That was really interesting this morning. All of a sudden my, my SWR on 40, um, while I was calling CQ, it got better. I was thinking, wow, that's great. And then it got started, suddenly started getting worse and worse. And I had a less than a, a watt out and I couldn't figure out what was going on and the light bulb went on and I realized I haven't seen the goats for a while and this was where my other 15 feet of uh, elevated radio were uh, stretched over to this tree here from the, the buddy stick rooster well here goes the buddy stick. <laughs> Tell you, these goats are a liability when you're trying to get on the air.
anyway, it, the advantage of a tarp is it gives you a dry place to uh, sort of pack up and and get all your your gear together, and then uh, you can pack the tarp as the last item. But actually, I put the tarp up last yesterday because the weather was nice, and I just put it up over the top of the tent, and it also gave the goats a place to uh, sort of get out of the weather. So I guess I've got a guy wire to uh, roll up and the uh, what's left of my elevated radio. <laughs> and then I can gather up the rest of the stuff, load up the goats, pack the tarp, and down the hill we go. So I just about got it whipped here. I've got uh, the, tent, the tarp down and uh, just got to pack up the rest of this, this gear, get the boys saddled up, and we'll be ready to hit the trail. And look at this weather. Where'd the uh, snow showers go? Anyway. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, saddle up the, the goats and sort of have to get everything all ready. Otherwise, they, uh, they won't wait for you. Kind of check and make sure there's no dirt on the saddle pads and we'll get one of the goats over here probably a rooster And yeah, trying to get them to stand still is always a good trick. over huh you need help <laughs> um, let's see <laughs> 